Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm taking a look at the Seattle Seahawks and going over whether or not they should trade for all pro cornerback Xavier Howard. But before we get into that topic, question for those of you viewing, comment down below. If you were the Seahawks, I want to hear your GM skills. What would you offer Miami in exchange for that cornerback? Getting straight into it though, if you did not hear, Miami Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard has announced that he was requesting a trade. He's unhappy with this contract. He doesn't feel respected by the franchise. He's attending training camp and requesting a trade is requesting a trade. Seahawks, a team that, you know, are in a division that you can make the argument is the best team in the division and the worst team in the division. That division is so tightly packed, any argument could be made. However, you're throwing in a top three cornerback in the league with a top three, top five safety-ish in the league with uh, Jamal Adams with the top five, probably top three linebacker in the league and Bobby Wagner. That's a big de difference on your defense and a big difference in your rankings amongst the division. Personally, this would be hard to do for the Seahawks, A, the money situation, and B, just the draft capital. You know, they already gave up two first-round picks for Jamal Adams, but to me, if you could get Xavier Howard for a first-round pick, you still don't have two first-round picks over the next two years, but it also opens up your Super Bowl window a lot wider for the next two years. You know, and again, the money situation is already complicated with extending Jamal Adams. But to me, if theoretically they could crunch the numbers, make it work out, be able to afford both Xavier, Jamal, Bobby, Carlos Dunlap, Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, all your big guys, I would go for it. You know, I think they need to look into it. Russell Wilson is not going to be this young forever. He's not going to be this mobile forever. I know Russell Wilson's a guy like Brady that will probably play another decade but still, you want to get this team hot while you can. The Rams, the Niners, they each don't have two first-round picks over the next two years either. They're gambling too. Be a gambler with them. You know, the Cardinals, they're not gambling like that, but they're also seen as the worst team in the division. Seahawks, I truly think this would benefit the team. Like I said, a Jamal Adams with Xavier Howard, that would be a very scary threat in the NFL. You can make the argument that's the best duo amongst any secondary. Yeah, there's Jalen Ramsey, Darius Williams. There's Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, Tredavious White, Micah Hyde. But Xavier Howard now with Jamal Adams, you can make the argument that's the best duo in any secondary. Like I said, with Bobby Wagner, with Carlos Dunlap, with Trey Flowers, that's a pretty good team all around. You know, I'm not the hugest fan of the Seahawks defense. It's no Legion of Boom anymore. But this is a top three cornerback we're talking about. And again, if you call Miami and they want two first round picks, I don't think the Seahawks should have. You know, look into that. Giving up your first over the next three years seems like a lot when it would be four total because you didn't have one last year. But over the next two years, I could still bite off on that. Like I said, the teams in your own division don't have first round picks for the next two years. You're not alone. Aggressiveness pays off in the NFL and you got to keep up with the times of being aggressive. You know, the Chiefs a little bit ago, year after year after year, went 10 and 6, 11 and 5, 12 and 4, made the playoffs with Alex Smith, but they couldn't get over the hump. They wanted to win a Super Bowl. They were aggressive. They traded up in the draft. They took a risk on the homes. It already resulted in a Super Bowl ring. Same thing with the Seahawks. Year after year, they're making the playoffs. They're having some fun. They're being competitive, but you got to make that big time trade to get to the next level. And a lot of people thought that would be Jamal Adams, you know. But why not? Why not go any further? You already paid off half your debt for Jamal Adams. I'm not saying let's create some more, but sometimes, like I said, being aggressive knit does pay off. You already got your franchise QB and Wilson. You're not going from Alex Smith to Patrick Mahomes type of transition. I would just look into it. I'm not saying the Seahawks have to do this, need to do this, should do this, but I think they have to, need to, and should to look into it. Call up Miami, call Chris Greer, call Brian Flores, just figure out the negotiation, figure out the circumstances, what shape is he in, what are they asking for again? If they want two plus first round picks, hang up. But if they're saying their starting points a first and a third, I'd look at them. Maybe you could get them down to a first and a fourth or just a first or two seconds. Something along those lines, you know. This team is ready to win. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Dwayne Eskridge, Gerald Everett. That's a pretty deep receiving core. They brought in Gabe Jackson. Not the greatest guard ever, but an extra protection for Russell. That's what he's been wanting. Chris Carson, they were kept him. Offense is ready. Defense is getting there. Like I said, Trey Flowers, Jamal Adams hopefully being healthy, Bobby Wagner, Carlos Dunlap. This team could use an extra X factor. Again, doesn't need it. I still think the Seahawks will make the playoffs with or without Xavier, but they might go from a Super Bowl contender to a Super Bowl favorite if you add a guy that could get 10 picks on your team. I'm just saying, again, not needed, but why would you not at least make a phone call? At least talk to your own guys. Talk to Russell. Talk to Jamal. 
talk to Bobby, talk to Carson, talk to DK, talk to Lockett. Will you be willing to restructure? Will you be willing to negotiate? You're not trying to take your way, take away your money, but just fixing that to where the cap helps us and we have a better chance of winning a Super Bowl ring. That's what the Bucks did when they were thinking about bringing in Tony Brown. They talked to Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Tom Brady, Scotty Miller. Will you be willing to take less money? Will you be willing to take less of the ball, less reps, less catches? It won't, your stats won't be as pretty, but you'll probably have a better chance of winning a Super Bowl ring. I don't think they give a crap how many footballs they caught last season. I think they care that there's a ring on their finger. And if I'm the Seahawks, I'm the same way. If I'm Jamal and Xavier takes away a sack from me or a pick from me or whatever it is for me statistics-wise, if I get a ring on my finger at the end of the day, at least from my standpoint, I don't know how these guys are. You know, I'm not. it's hard for me to tell them, oh, yeah, take less millions of dollars because I'm not in that situation. I don't know what it's like to have millions of dollars be offered and say no to it. I get it, but I'm just saying to me, I would at least talk to you guys, see if they're willing to do so. And if I were them, I would have a ring just be invaluable to any type of money if I already made a good amount of paychecks. But again, I get it. I'm not going to say, no, nah, I'm going to pass up on $10 million so I could get a ring. I get it again. We'll just have to see how it turns out again. It's a sticky situation for the Seahawks, the situation of money and the situation of draft capital. But we'll just have to see how it turns out. Xavier's already requested a trade. Miami's kind of losing leverage. You know, you could compare him to the Jalen Ramsey trade of being for two first round picks, but at the time that happened, Jalen Ramsey was 26. Xavier Howard's now 28. Yeah, he might be coming off a premier season for him, but still, I don't think they'll get two firsts. And I think the Seahawks should definitely consider dealing out another first round pick. Like I said, if it results in a ring, they'll never regret the trade, never regret the stats. A ring is a ring. You guys tell me though, do you agree or disagree? You all for Xavier coming in? Are you all against him? Keep him away as far as possible. Or are you kind of like me? Yeah, you want him, but you got to figure out the price tag first. Again, I'm not signing off on two first round picks, but a first and a third, first and a fourth, whatever it may be, I can work around that range. You guys tell me though, like I said, I'm referring back to the question today, kind of just heard my trade off ish, trade offer. What is yours? Maybe I'm not even close. Maybe I'm spot on. What is your guys' trade package compared to mine? Maybe the Seahawks would be looking to throw into a player, you know, here's a first and Trey Flowers. Here's a first and, you know, I don't, I doubt they want to trade with Chris Carson away, but maybe it was Shad Penny, you know, just a different type of running back, maybe just a different type of role player, B player to this team that can maybe sweeten the deal. We'll just see. You guys tell me as well as in the course. Thank you for watching, guys. Two in the morning.